you have just been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm here. I'm here right now with fitter, stronger, faster. So what that means is, I'm definitely gonna get fitter, stronger and faster so i'm gonna ruin all these lives careers right now because they told me about a challenge and i told me challenge how much calories can I lose in 30 seconds uh, don't do that i'm black i'm winning anyways <laughs> uh, but anyways here we go here we uh, go um, my name's dominic i'm ali i'm ryan i'm tyler and i want to ask you guys um you know when it comes to let's start with just exercise before we talk about what y'all are actually yeah. when it comes to exercise how important is that for each for each of you guys oh well like for me it's everything and like, i've created a gym because of it mental health just like happiness yes yeah, it's, it's everything it's part of my big life yeah 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 i find it so addictive um want to train all the time you get a good social scene get a good group That's of mates yeah, family yeah, exactly. yeah it yeah. makes a massive big part of it yeah yeah so I, I don't know i find it as an everyday life but it's a sense of community do you know what i mean you can go somewhere yeah. you can relax everything takes off your mind and it's just somewhere to escape for a little bit you know yeah, yeah i mean it's good it helped me lose 14 kilos so i'm not complaining yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my guy and, and you know what, 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 what I found, listen, i was just telling him off air like i used to be 19 stone yeah, i've now lost amazing. five stones since then nice, um nice. and for me what it does is gives me the confidence to actually walk out in t-shirts i mean yeah, before yeah. everything was just doing the business yeah. with the with the roles and yeah. stuff and and it's not just about being vain is it it's just it's yeah. it's self-confidence as well yeah. yeah it's not about being vain you know if you if you look good you feel yeah. better a hundred percent and that's something i want to ask you guys when it comes to um you know doing your workouts and stuff is it important to have a physique or is it about you know having stamina like what does fitness mean to you? Like, what do you do with the fitness that you're working out for? I mean, like myself, I'm a lifelong martial artist. I'm 41 now. I started martial arts when I was eight. Always wanted to be Bruce Lee. Um, yeah, yeah. So, like, that's... Like yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, like, for me, you know, um, it's it's about more than just physique i like to see what i can do with it and women when, when it comes to martial arts that's not just about violence yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean learning you know the bond we get with my brothers that do martial arts with me and sisters yeah. it's amazing you know you don't get that bond with anyone else you know yeah. it's like we have a whole saying it's like you bleed together and then that's your team do you know what i mean yeah. and it sounds weird because you're punching each other in the face and choking each other out yeah. but you don't get that bond with anything yeah, else there's yeah, nothing yeah. not playing tennis you get a bond maybe football yeah but yeah. when you put each other through that it's a whole different experience yeah no I respect that and obviously coming to you like when it comes to martial arts um how important has that been to you oh i'm not martial arts so but yeah, um fitness for me getting yeah, it, getting yeah. Into it. getting into uh, it yeah. yeah but um fitness for me has like been a massive um like, impact on my life like, i lost a lot of weight yeah. trained hard and now i like enjoy lifting weights mm and encourage like women especially to do that as well like lift weights because she's got a crazy story yeah, yeah amazing loads amazing. of people yeah if you don't mind asking like yeah. how much we weight did you lost yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're here uh, for three days <laughs> uh, i lost four and a half stone I see that mean. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. See, yeah so and yeah. then yeah just like got really into fitness yeah, yeah and i love now it now we have to kick her out yeah gym. now yeah literally <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah kick her out of the yeah. gym yeah yeah it's like the workout police yeah you're only allowed in certain times of the day yeah but it's really good and it's made a massive impact on my mental health and just the way I feel and it's not just about the way you look it's how you feel and how you can make other people feel because you're so positive yeah. it's good now I feel like from somebody who's also lost about four stone yeah. as well I want to ask you like when it comes to losing all of that weight obviously you mentioned it's not about how you look no. It's not even, sometimes it's not even about how you feel. It's just being healthy. It's so about, yeah, definitely being healthier. Yeah. Um, change your eating habits. Mm. Um, like for me, sugar was like a massive thing. Like, and I was addicted so bad, and I would always eat sweets, chocolate, and now I don't look for it. I'm, you know, I don't enjoy it, and I enjoy eating things that make me feel healthy, strong, and that's like, made a massive change in my life. Definitely. No, I respect that. And you know what? To any woman, male that are watching this. This is an example. Listen, if you want to be as skinny as me and her, just say, I, I still got to be a little, I got to be a belly left, but don't watch that. I'm going to get there soon. No more chocolates. But anyway, <laughs> on to the next person. Um, do you do martial arts before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay, so um, talking of martial arts, like, what does that mean to you? Well, I mean, and why did you get into it? Well, I started martial arts when I was six. So I started karate. My dad kind of 
not push me, but just like suggested it when I was yeah. little and I thought oh, I'll give it a go. Yeah. So I did that for 10 years up until I was 16 and I've been doing MMA ever since and that's how I met Dom, that's went up it. to the gym. And um, yeah. no, it's always been a big part of my life. You know, it's discipline, it's just, like, it sounds corny, but it's a way of life. You know, yeah. like yeah, yeah. It, oh, I finish work, I, look, I finish my day's work or I have a hard day maybe. And then, yeah. do you know what I mean? You get in the gym and then that, you know what I mean? Everything, nothing else matters, do you know what I mean? Like, that is just what you're there for and you're there to have a good time, do you know what I mean? Like, I love to fight and I just love to like, be in that space all the time with the people I want to be with. Would you ever go professional? Yeah, I'd love to way, go professional. Yeah. We're there, we're there. He's on the way, he's on the way. Yeah, we're getting, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not ready. I'm like, you're not so ready. I'm like, are you trying to go professional? Or are you just like... <laughs> yeah, no, I'd love that. Like, that, that's dream come true. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's if true. there was anyone you could fight, who would you want to fight? Well, any, well, anyone, professional, anyone. anyone Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not like Joe. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people want to bash him up. But, um, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I mean, they say, would you want to fight anyone? I'd fight everyone. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's not one specific yeah, yeah, person, it is yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? As many people as possible, I'm not bothered. Nah, do you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> I think that's true. And I'm coming up to you, young man. Um, how old are you, by the way? Uh, 14. Okay, okay. And what, you into martial arts? Yeah, yeah. I've, it's been a big part of my life since I was four. I mean, I started yeah. judo when I was four. Yeah. I carried it on till I was like nine and ten. Yeah. I've been like, I've done MMA from like yeah. ten to now and boxing. Yeah. I've competed in a bit of everything. I mean, yeah, it's a big part. Do you have like a favourite sport that you'd like to be in? Or are you looking to stick to, you know, progressing in several different sports? Yeah, I mean, not really. I like a bit of everything. I'm just trying everything out at the minute. Yeah. yeah. And should the ladies be watching out for you as well? Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw those eyes, I was like, ah, ah he's, got a, he's got a blue eyes, you know, I was like, ah, cool, cool, cool. And um, what, what does fitness mean to you? Because obviously you are 14, you're at a young age. Uh, a lot of young kids don't really think about fitness at that age. So what made you want to get into so many different sports at your young age? Well, I mean, obviously, my dad was an ex-MMA fighter over there, just taking in his footsteps. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, but I didn't want to... No I way! Wanna... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to ask, just in case, you know. But, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, just following in my dad's footsteps, yeah. tried a bit of everything, just see what I like. No, I love that. And you know what, as a father then, I have to ask yeah. you, um, having a son who, you know, very dedicated to his fitness, mm. um, involved in very different sports, um, I love to ask people that are parents, does that that's like give you like a proud feeling knowing, especially something that you're interested in yeah, as well, yeah. that yeah, you have massively. a son as well? It's like, I'd never kind of like push him into it. I never said, I've always said that he doesn't have to be a fighter, yeah. but I feel that he has to learn and know martial arts mm. so you know there's a difference you know to be a fighter you know you that's your career and that's what you want to do yeah. but you have to learn martial arts it's like I, I spoke about it to someone recently I said you know it's like it's as simple as like maths English science and martial arts mm. you know what we the world we live in nowadays you've got to be able to protect yourself yeah, yeah, you know yeah. and and that's what it is mainly it's not about you know if anything martial arts will give them the confidence mm. to step away from fights mm. because usually the people as you know that start fights can't actually fight yeah, you know so yeah for me I'm very proud in what he's doing and what yeah, he's yeah, achieving yeah. I'll yeah. definitely agree somebody who's grew up in London yeah yeah no, too. No, we're from South London so I'm from South where yeah, about more than more than so yeah, I'm yeah, you know, without a run. Yeah, 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 and they all, they all claim yeah. Essex. I'm like, mate, you're in London. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, but um, do people that want to get into uh, mixed martial arts for you, um, how can they get involved with that? And, you know, what should they know about this sport before getting into it? Do you know what? I would say that there's a lot of misconceptions about martial arts. Mm. I'll say the, the younger, the better. Because okay. not that I know any other languages, but from what I've heard, people that can speak other languages like that. You know, you yeah, start yeah, very yeah. young, your brain's very receptive. Like yeah. I said, I started him at four. Yeah. And do you know what it does? It builds confidence and like we're saying, you know, that team spirit, um, you know, and I tell you, discipline. So many of these young kids nowadays, they're running around on the streets, doing whatever, and he's in the gym, he works in the gym, uh, like when he leaves school three days a week, he's in the gym a lot of the time, you know, most of the time, more than he would like, you know, and then, so now I know where he is and I know what's so going on. So should I blame you if you ain't got a girlfriend? He's got a few girlfriends. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and listen, I'm just trying to hook him up, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to to end end on a sweet note, what would be your advice for somebody? So I'm going to ask all four of you this. So for somebody who would like to lose weight or are struggling with the weight or thinking about getting into the um, losing weight business, whether that's uh, you know just starting a gym or whatever, what would be your advice? Uh, I would say get a goal. Don't just aimlessly say, I want to lose weight. Mm. Kind of come up with a goal, like a fixed, how much you want to lose, and give yourself a time scale. So, you know, like with that, so it's not just like you're aimlessly wandering, you go, I'm going to want to lose this amount of time, uh, this amount of weight in this amount of time. Because otherwise, if you just want to lose weight, it's endless, and then you can kind of slip. So, yeah, you need a goal and a time scale. I would just say, like, keep moving. So go for a walk, go out, go find something. You go for a walk with friends, make it social, go and do something, just move, move your body. And then the more you move, the more you will just keep going. And it will start you off. I'm going to say that it's not always sunshine and roses. It's not always easy, you know? Like, you're going to have rough days, you're going to have, like, good days, you know what I mean? Like, but you've got to focus on them good days to get you through them bad days. That's what I'd say. What would you say? Like you've got to kind of enjoy it. You've got to make it achievable. Yeah. So like not cutting yourself to what, an apple a day or yeah. something like that. You've got to actually be able to eat, enjoy yeah. it, make it achievable. See, you know what? I like you, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what you've done, but you, 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 you've done well, you know. <laughs> I, I, I need to come to you, bro. <laughs> but listen, this is fitter, stronger, faster. Stay locked in every day and if you want to learn about them, I'm going to get all the social media stuff, everything you need, all the individual stuff as well, so you can find their stuff down below. Oh, we're about to do the challenge as well, so don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I might sweat, but you don't know about me yet, so we're going to get into that right now. But anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for letting me have a conversation with you guys, you know what I mean? Really appreciate that. And yeah, let's get into it. We out. Been tuned into the street session. With your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go.